Here's a fabulous look at your new ministers, a nice overhead look at Raisina Hill. There you have it. Rajnath Singh is your new home minister. That's North Block on the right and South Block on the left. Sushma Swaraj is your new external affairs minister. Arun Jaitley is your new minister of finance and he will also hold the dual charge of minister for defense. This and many other portfolios are now fully confirmed. This is, of course, a list of cabinet portfolios that has the strong Narendra Modi imprint. Uh, of course, Rishika, remember, who is the number two? That's, that's going to be a question that's going to be argued endlessly. Absolutely. You've got Rajnath Singh, who's the Home Minister, who's always traditionally uh, been the number two. The Home Minister's position always traditionally number two. But you've got a heavy hitter like Arun Jaitley put in charge of three big portfolios, two of them very, very big. Raisina Hill portfolios like finance and defense and also the additional charge, no less prestigious, of corporate affairs, which is, uh, which is a portfolio that has attracted a great deal of scrutiny in the recent past as well. You've had a person like Virappa Moili, who is a senior Congress leader in charge of that particular portfolio. Arun Jaitley gets that as well. Here you have it on your screen, non-stop coverage of the cabinet portfolio allocation, breaking first and exclusive here on headlines today. The big, the big Narendra Modi imprint, Rishika. Absolutely. And as you can see, over all the ministers, uh, you know, we, we have been putting these names out there. These have been uh, the names that have been doing the rounds. But obviously, confirmations coming in today and Shiv, we've been bang on throughout. Yeah. In the names that we'd put out as probables today being confirmed on day one of Modi Sarkar, uh, you know, all Narendra and, and of course, bearing a deep Narendra Modi imprint out there and crucially Sushma Swaraj, who was, uh, you know, seen as an adversary, uh, not really the best of relations with Narendra Modi, also being given that all-important portfolio, Ministry of External Affairs. And just a short while ago, we saw her with Narendra Modi at the Hyderabad Bhavan, in fact, uh, you know, even before she officially takes charge as a Minister of External Affairs, she's at the Hyderabad Bhavan meeting uh, eight heads of state as we speak, uh, you know, through the course of today, really hitting the ground running on day one itself. Well, sp speaking of hitting the ground running, uh, Gaurav, uh, Narendra Modi has already in many ways cracked the proverbial whip. He wants all of his uh, ministers and officials, uh, you know, to work long days, put in the extra hours and make sure they live up to the enormous mandate and faith of the Indian people that's, you know, delivered them to power. So it's going to be, there's going to be no time for rest. There's going to be very little time for celebration. In fact, the celebrations are already over. All of these ministers must quickly get to work now, Gaurav. Okay, I think we've lost that line with Gaurav. I'll get back to him in just a moment. Uh, Javed, Javed, you still, if you're still with us, no time to celebrate for any of these ministers. Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister's office, expects them to quickly get to work and deliver results. Well, absolutely. They have their task cut out for them. That's, you know, expectations are so high. One of the things that politicians are always wary of is raising expectations. Yes. Unfortunately, given the kind of election campaign that we've had, the extended election campaign expectations are sky high of Mr. Narendra Modi. So there is no time to rest. He has to begin delivering because every every day he will be watched. People in remote villages expect that, you know, if the road in front of their house is not uh, in a proper condition because we have a new government, that will happen. It doesn't necessarily work that way, but that's the level of expectations that people have. So therefore, Mr. Narendra Modi, by the sheer force of his personality, will have to set the, set the pace for this government. Because if you go through the list, uh, and I'm sorry if I sound like a party people, but if you go through that list, there are not too many names there which, which quicken your pulse. No surprises, not too much evidence of innovation happening, except that some ministries have been merged and downsized. There was talk of bringing in fresh talent from outside. Well, there's nobody has been brought in from outside. So, they, they, you know, you have to weigh, weigh, weigh optimism in conjunction with reality. And yes. he, he's, he's had to, his, his elbow room has been limited in that respect. So now all that has to change and he needs to deliver. People have only that much of patience because he's raised so much of expectations and he has to deliver and deliver from day one. Well, there's no doubt about all those enormous expectations. Remember that the large number of ministers of state with independent charge and ministers of state uh, is a clear indication that Narendra Modi uh, wants control of crucial departments and ministries. The restructuring of the entire 
uh, governance firmament in the national capital is undergoing a sea change. We've started to see some of it. Will there be mega ministries, uh, uh, super cabinet ministers in charge of several uh, departments, coordination, command, uh, who responds to who? All of these will be part of the huge, huge hopes that the people of India have pinned on a government that has promised pretty much the moon, as our national affairs editor uh, rightly just pointed out. And there will be a level of impatience as well. The government will not have much time to begin showing results. There are several issues like inflation, black money, a tax regime, investor confidence, prices and the, uh, and the price of commodities in the country that immediately affect the lives of Indians. There will have to be deliverable, visible results very, very soon. On your screen, the people who have been entrusted with making that possible, the new ministers of a new India. We're going to continue tracking this breaking story. Cabinet portfolios here on Headline Today.